righty, we're right where we left off in the last episode of taking care of a couple of things in the berry sitting right over there in a pile. Hello everybody, this is Frogman. Welcome back to the Long Dark and our faithful cartographer, Interloper Run. We killed the bear last time and then we cooked him up a little bit. We've got a couple other things going and we managed to get at least this little section over here mapped to where I want to get it mapped. Now, there's nothing up on this. There's no point in going and trying to find that. And we got both of the two caves that are down here. Now, there are some birch bark stuffs and things, or birch bark, birch, birch saplings that I did already harvest and a bunch of those other little things. The bear, well, we shot him down here and then he ran, well, not down here. He, we shot him like right here and he probably ran up the road and then ran back down over here and died right outside of his cave. So sometimes, again, once you know where the bears and whatnot live in the areas that you're tending to wander through, you can either avoid them or you can hunt them. But knowing where they path is a good idea to like, try to keep things going. So I kind of had a feeling that if I would just let him run, he was either going to go... Up, they'll usually... One of the things a bear will do is once they calm down after you scare one, they'll start to path back to where they're supposed to be at, which is going to be either any one of their walking paths or their house. And this is his house. So there is no reason to run around and chase them all over the place. They will go home and they will die so that's one of the things that's nice about a bear so i'm gonna gather up all his guts all of this and we're going to hope that the weather stays good for just a little bit we've got a quite a de decent eyeball i want to bring about that much with us and i'm also going to make sure i just eat that one Drink some water, and we're going to take all of this, what we just picked up, up to the mine. Now, it means we're going to have to walk through a wolf, probably. But if we're lucky, yeah, we're way heavy. Hang on a minute. We're, we're over where I want to be. Yeah, we're over where we want to be. Let's drop the short one. Okay. As long as I'm under the limit like that, under 10 pounds over, she'll still walk at a reasonable pace. So we're going to go up here and dump all this off and probably have to deal with a wolf and as long as the wind doesn't blow our torch out we'll be fine famous last words i know but i am a little concerned actually we may be having an aurora with the colors in the sky but it's kind of hard to tell with the wind blowing but with the direction the wind's blowing any wolf that's going to be coming after us he's going to know we're here they're all right over here anyways we kind of found last time and if we get in trouble, we can just run back down to Thompson's. Either way, I want to stash this thing in a spot where I'm going to come get it later. But I want to go up to the mine if we can, because we're getting a little short on coal. Where are you, buddy? Hell, he might take that deer out for us. Oh, great. I didn't keep good torches. So let's see if we can get to the mine without getting mauled. I didn't kind of want to do this, but I was forced to do this. Not necessarily forced, but you know, intentionally I shot at a bear and I shouldn't have. So if I'm lucky, he might go after a deer. Actually here, what I might do is I'll give you one of those. He'll still follow me. He might go after the deer, actually. Oh, he saw me again. That's the only problem is bait doesn't work like... Oh, yeah, it does. Look at it. It worked fine. For once, bait worked the way the bait was supposed to work. I fed the wolf. He ran away. But now he's. I'm back in his uh, little capability of being seen, so... That's the way bait's supposed to work. If you feed the wolf, he's just supposed to walk away from you. But now he's coming after me again because he knows I'm here. But at least he's got a distance on us. We might be able to run up to the mine before we lose this torch. I just want to make sure we put some of this down in a spot where we can get to it. And we're going to be leaving the zone here anyway, so might as well just stock it up. I think we're going to have a 
Blizzard, run, please, Astrid. Run, 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 run. I don't want to light another match. Not that I think it's a big deal, but we have a wolf behind us. Hello, mine. We'll map that in a second once we get done with a couple other things. Alrighty then. So, all the guts are just going to go right there. Oh, no. Yeah, and, well, the food. I hate it when it does that. Can I get that, please? Nope, I got to pick all the guts up without picking up the meat first because for whatever reason, I would want to pick the guts up out of the meat. Give me a torch. Actually, we should drop those outside, huh? I, I, again, it doesn't matter. What are you doing? Come on, Brain. Come on. Go ahead. Drop all that. And then drop all this right here. And I'll just put this up here. I'm not worried about it. Again, we have cooking five, so it doesn't matter whether it rots or not. He was pretty moldy anyway. It was like 50% by the time we got to him, which is another really kind of a bad thing that they supposedly had fixed but apparently haven't fixed yet so I uh, put Zisa over here and then we'll put his big gut sky hide right down here where what, what am I doing not this one this one go drop and then I'm gonna put these saplings right there so that I know where they're at all right we're gonna go leave every bit of coal that we currently have sitting right here and we're not going to do all of the mine. We're just going to go get like, well, like five or ten pieces of coal. Now we might go, I don't think we're going to even go so far as to find the stem. I think I'll leave that for a little bit. But let's do a little bit of easy, easy work today. So I think maybe there might be one right here. New? If not, we'll pick it up. We're going to go down to at least, well, go down through the big room and a couple of these little areas right here. You can usually get quite a bit of coal right here here so let's just pick up as much as we can for another reason then like oh well the stems up here today this will come in handy yes it will although we haven't managed to use one yet oh your scrap metal thank you although I don't know how bad did we use up our hacksaw that one 95% it's fine all right this room's always full of coal Or at least has some in it. How many we got now? Ten. So that means we have like 15 or 16 or more than that. So let's go ahead and do this guy right here. Check him out. He's not got nothing. All right, down to the down a little further. I don't want to go too far because we're kind of short on torches, but we can walk down a little I don't have any reason to go into pleasant although like I would like to at least again pick as much of this up as we can so we can get it to respawn and I'll take you and we'll bring you out here even though I don't think we're gonna need it I'll put it over here on this work table which this work table is very handy uh, the only thing I wish you could do in here is light a fire no all right get that one there's not a whole lot left on it but it'll work laying around on the floor in here aside from a piece of scrap metal which we can put over here I see that piece of cloth you can go over here as well I'm going to keep walking mainly because it's that time of night yeah let's just go to the other end I wasn't gonna go to the other end we're just gonna go ahead and keep walking we've got a full belly we've got plenty of water and she's not tired so let's just pick up all of it That way, when we get ready to come back through, I doubt it's going to take a week, but some of it may start coming back at that point. Or 
Burn trail boots. I don't know if I need it anymore, but okay. Colt. Eh, 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 eh. I wonder if I can drop any of this. Oh, we'll probably drop some of it. Don't worry about it. Right now, I think you're just fine. Hey! Okay. Still can't believe how many sewing kits we probably have. I'm pretty sure we left like four or five in Mystery Lake. I didn't see that one. Okay, whatever. Keep on keeping on. And to the front side where Coastal exists. I don't want to pop out. We're not going to go out. I don't want to load that zone yet. box full of coal okay so right here once again we'll go ahead and drop oh my <laughs> you, you you can have like thirty two we left five plus the four or five that's in there so we'll have pretty close to twenty and that's kind of where I want to be I think to finish the rest of the zone in a week, we can come back through here and pick this, and it'll be good again. If nothing else, I think we could probably go back over to Misty Falls Cave on our way through that area and get some more coal because it's been a while. So let's run back down to the other end. Go ahead and run. Why not? more oh. three more I swear and that's the thing too like i swear it'll do that you'll if you come back through the cave you just looted like so if you have a spot you want to pick up a bunch of stuff in or a bunch of coal in if you go back through the direction you just came after it's been a really long time i swear they they respawn some of it right behind you so cool we can take a good nap now and have plenty of firewood with us or at least hot 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 firewood so, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we can drop, I'm going to go ahead and drop like six of them. We'll just carry 15 with us for right now. That should be a reasonable amount. And then that'll have us enough so that when we come in, when and if we have to come back, we can. So, all right, let's put her bed down, put her to bed somewhere. And get us a bit of food. a bit more food. Hey, there's a minute. It's like completely blank on that one. Amazing. Love it. Okay. Bedtime. Syria has the most unlikely weather patterns of anything I've ever seen ever. Period. I'm glad I brought a whole bunch of food and a bunch of water and a bunch of other things. Mouth is so dry. <sighs> I have a half a notion just to leave, never come back, and just whatever.
Thank you. Although I don't believe you. It's the end of the day once again. I'm glad I, you know, brought some food with us. All right, let's go outside, take a picture, and then take a picture. To abandoned mine. All right, nice. Go back inside, warm up. We're going to try to make it to the cave on the river. Oh. Nope. All right, cool. Well, let's go. So we should have all this done. All we need to do now is just make some tracks. So let's make some tracks. Just be the deer. It's right here. Yeah. Okay. Clip, clop, clip, clop. Let's go. Where's the road? The road should be right coming up. Can I? I'm going to try to get some of this side. I want to make sure we get this pathway. Yeah, I know. You're chitter chatter, and it's fine. You'll be okay. It's that time of day where we should be able to get some traveling and some mapping done without freezing to death. All right, cool. So that's the path up to here. It's interesting that that doesn't map, but whatever. It's okay. We don't need to worry about it. Keep going. To the road. Here's a fun one for you older players. Do you remember when these signs didn't exist? I do. Okay, so we're right about here. Let's uh, let's get up on a rock and see if we can get this and the river. Not that I think that counts as height, but I'm going to look at the river and hope it catches some of it. All right, so yeah, you can kind of see right where that rabbit glint is. I should have grabbed us some paint cans and made a marker or something right there, but whatever. Uh, so we're gonna bounce back and forth between here and there. There's a spot up the ro the road we need to do. And I do kind of want to be down on the river, but I don't really want to be down on the river. It's so cold. I just wanna lay down for a bit. I want to get all the cattails too, but there aren't very many. We may maybe backtrack a little. Is this going to get me the intersection over there? That would be really good if it did. Cool. All right. Nice. Wolf carcass. What? Um... What? Why is there a wolf? No, there's a wolf. That's, wait a minute, hang on a minute. We're looking right at that. He's not dead. He's sitting right there, moving. Right in the intersection, right there. We're looking right at him right there. Interesting, okay. Cool, so that means I don't need to worry about the river to that point, which means we need to go that way. Without breaking our legs.
Ah! That was a little far. <laughs> yes, please, give me it. We need torches anyway, we don't have any. I wouldn't mind torches. If the weather's gonna be nice like this, let's go ahead and pop one. Come on, little fire. Oh, it'll go, don't worry about it. I need to make some more teas. Boy, that warmed us up nicely. Cool. We're a little short on torches. And if the weather's good, cool. So we've got to go down this little road right here. There is a, a dead end and a name down there, plus a corpse. And one of the other locations, I think, for a Polaroid occasionally. Am I going to get it? I got it. All right, cool. What's in your car? Nothing. I hear him. Nothing. No, I don't want to open the hood. I want to go down here. Yeah, we're going to have to make a mapping fire tonight. Or not a mapping fire, but a um, charcoal fire tonight. Which might be a little painful. End of the road. This is where some of us thought Blackrock was going to go, and they didn't do it. I can't feel my hands. But, you know, anyhow. All right, so we've got end of the road done with the corpse down here, and we're going to need to go to about right here sometime tonight. So, should be okay to just keep going. I don't think there's anything else back here, right? Now, I think this is a location for a Polaroid. Like I said, it's either in this guy or some... He, he had it. Wow. I haven't seen a flare in forever. Okay, make a run for the river. Or the cabins, actually. Let's get to the derelict cabins, get those done, and then we'll go down to the cave on the river. That won't have anything in it because I took all of the firewood I put on it off of it. Yeah, you can a woo down there all you want. I don't care. You're past where I need to be, so that's good. Although we might shoot you later for dinner. Now, where are we? Hang on a minute. I'm gonna be on top of this rock. Yeah, go ahead and map it. I'll save one for the derelict cabin. Which is going to be right here. Ooh, this one we want to go back the way we came. We'll get the cabin, then the cave. I really need a bunch of firewood. Did it get the cattails right here? No, it didn't. There should be some cattails right... Right at the bottom of this little kind of a, a, a walk-up area. That's how you know to come up here. 
There shouldn't be anything around but sticks. Let's get us some more sticks. How bad is she on the hypo? She's fine. We're good. We should be able to recover that. I just want to get a whole bunch of junk. We need to make torches or torches. We need to make sticks for tonight or sticks, charcoal, all that kind of goodness. I know I left a bunch in town. I'm not going back to town if I can help it. Rose hips. More interested in the sticks, although I suppose that would give us something to kill a little bit of time with tonight. Definitely not very tired. Pink skies, pink skies in Pleasant. I think that's the only zone that it doesn't work in. Pink sky at night, sailor's delight. Pink sky at morning, sailor's warning. Red sky, whatever you want to call it. Generally means <laughs> normally that if you see a red sky at night, the next day is going to usually be nice. If you see a red sky the first thing in the morning, it's not going to be. I don't know. It's another one of those whatever isms things, whether you believe it or not. Can I have the container, please? Thank you. Do you have any food for me, sir? No, you have pills. All right. So let's pop a fire in this real quick just to save our fire so that we're not burning our torches we'll map this i should have checked for charcoal first but it's okay we won't make a very long fire, little fire. it's okay it's it's okay yes it's, it's fine i'm just making sure we have something to keep ourselves working for a minute i'll take it oh yeah we'll take that sure 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 and i i really would love it if it had just warm up a little bit, but I don't need that many torches, and I think my hypo will be okay. So do one more. The sun is setting. Yeah, I know. Ow. I'm not sure I, can carry much more. I think you're going to carry a little more. How long is it going to take to break these down? I know I'm kind of pushing it. Ow. Ow. Ow, we can recover that. Give me my torch. I don't know why I did that. We're going to let it burn. Give me, give me, give me a good torch. Give me a junk torch. Junk, junk, junk. Not that junk torch. Give me that one. Drink some water. And you have a minute. Let's go check the other cabin. There's very rarely anything in these, but sometimes there's good stuff here. If nothing else, I want that. Yeah. Are you out? We get any one piece, one whole piece. Love it. Okay. Fix sticks, and then we're gonna head for the cave. Should be able to run just fine. Uh, the cave is right here underneath of us, so let's just go down here the way I stated. We should have plenty of time. Nothing else I can pop a fire down and uh, warm up. Or at least warm a tea and stop it. We're right here. Because from here on out, I'm probably just going to follow the river. I don't see any need for us to be up on the road. As long as we can manage to map it, the river pretty much follows the road. And that's the last mappable location on the river. Or up there, I believe, on this side. 
Oh yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. And warming back up. Lovely. Okay, cool. So get our fire started. Because we need one anyway. That ought to do us for a little while. Let's go ahead and craft a couple of things up. We need some water and a couple of teas. I already have one of those teas. We're going to cook an herbal. And do I have one of these? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Put some water down. And probably just sleep. Right there. I'm gonna cook you. I'm gonna cook another. Let's just cook some. How much water do we have on us right now? We have none, so we can't cook any more water. Just cook that, then do some more water. Cook uh, another one of those. You have seven minutes until melted. Cook a birch bark. Cook. I'm just cooking a few teas up real quick because we're going to go to bed and then we're going to end it. 29 minutes till boiled. How much water do we have now? None. We have... If I can get a 10-hour fire and then a little more... I'm going to do that one more time because we do have a bunch of coal. Well, I didn't want to do that. It's fine. Cook a few teas. You know what? We don't have any teas. I know we're just kind of doing this thing. I'm going to do a couple of things here really quickly. I'm just trying to get it done before I, you know, forget about it. Are we out of stuff? Yes. So we have boiled dry there. I want to go ahead and craft that. We have one. Go ahead, pop that out. I need her to be able to sleep for 12 hours straight, which I know she can't. We have to do 10 and then another one. I need at least 10 hours. And to get 10 hours, I need right here. So cook two more teas. That's nine hour fire that will be 140 whatever the heck it is at the point or as hot as it's going to get, which means if a blizzard blows up, it's got to be at least that cold to kill us. We're going to do two things. We're going to pop this. We're going to pop that. We're going to eat the worst one of those. I'm going to stack another one of those on top. Got a nice big drinky drink. We are just about halfway dead. Make sure your fire's still good. Actually, go to this side of it. Sleep for 10 hours. That wasn't too bad considering how bad we were. That ate up a restore condition, two restored conditions, and another one of those deals. If we could have slept for the full 12 hours, 
or one more time, so we're now at a full eyeball, but if we could have slept for a full 12 hours, we could have probably recovered all of that health, and our fire is still going. So for now, ladies and gentlemen, I think we managed to get a few things. We've got some stuff done. Um, we've got almost all of this side of the map done now. Actually, while we're here, we'll burn the last one of those. That'll put the cave on the map underneath the derelict cabins. I'm going to go probably run out here, grab a couple of those cattails that I know are right here, and then we're going to move on to the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.